Hello, my name is Jason, and this is Monty. And welcome to another special video. Today we're going to be studying the verse Romans 9 and verse 18. And I'm going to read in the King James Version first, and then in the New International Version. It says, Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will be pardoned. Now I'm going to read in the New International Version. It says, Therefore God has mercy on whom he wants to have mercy, and he hardens whom he wants to harden. Now, let's put this into context before we give you our meaning of the verse. Now, this passage is meant to take place after Paul is explaining how not everyone who is born in Israel is of the children of Israel. And it's kind of confusing, but sort of look at it like this. Um, just because um, you are born as a human being does not mean you are born as a Christian. Obviously, you have to go through the plan of salvation. This is sort of the same thing, but for the children of Israel. Just because they were born as Israelites does not mean they were the children of Israel, which is more of a spiritual title meaning followers of God or of God. It's kind of confusing, but it's explained a lot better. So I recommend you read all of Romans 9 before continuing. And also in this verse, we have this like really interesting little Bible verse, which I don't remember where it pops up at, but it says, uh, Jacob have I loved, but Esau I've hated. And this verse comes as an explanation as to why that's still righteous for God to say that. Um, that's the context. You can talk about your meaning first before I give mine. All right. Well, uh, meaning, he's, he's already given context, and as he said, the, uh, the children of Israel. Uh, if you want to really search that in, you'd have to go back to when uh, his name slips in my mind. Abraham. Abraham. That's Abraham was promised by God that he would have descendants on the earth, as many as there are stars night sky and uh, this was a very interesting promise because he only had one son two sons yes. but uh, one son with his wife and uh, this became slowly descending down the line so you find David and Jesus yes. and all the children of Israel basically the Israelites but after uh, Jesus dies on the cross it opens it broadens away from just the Hebrews and the Israelites to broaden to uh, the Gentiles, which we are, so that we could all have salvation, basically. And it wasn't uh, designated to a specific sect. But this verse right here, specifically, it says, Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. Now, I, what really caught me off guard was the he hardeneth part. But I looked, looked it up, uh, if you translate it down from the Greek, it basically means to render stubborn, is the definition of this word. So basically he's, he's just, he doesn't turn a deaf ear, God never turns a deaf ear to any, anything like that, but uh, he does sometimes say no. You hear Christians say that a lot, that God will occasionally say no. But uh, the big thing right here is that he has the ability and he is right even if he decides that no, I'm not going to do that. Now he always gives us the, the ability to do really whatever we want in our power. But sometimes he says, all right, I'm not using my power for this or this specific. Uh, it's sort of my meaning for this is I really don't see this in a negative connotation. I really see this more as a positive light because of this reason. Uh, later in the verse, it's talking about the reason this is righteous, and it says something very uh, interesting that I don't think he got to. It says, how can the pottery say to the clay maker, why did you make me like this, um, basically? And it's such an interesting concept because although Jesus or God is not liable to any flesh. He's not liable to show us mercy or grace to any man. That is not his vindiction. He doesn't have to do that. And that is an interesting thing that we don't get, that doesn't get talked about a lot, but it's such an interesting little nugget here. But it says, it starts off talking about mercy. And I see this more of an interesting light because it says he has mercy on whom he wants to have mercy. And basically he turns ignorant or uh, stubborn as you said whoever he wants to and it cites the example of Pharaoh and how he just turned him over a deaf not a deaf ear but turned him over to his own devices sort of and uh, yeah sort of using what you said earlier and sort of twisting it around a little bit like that okay so um, we have this wonderful verse that is 
kind of hard for people to understand. This is why this is why I recommend that you read all of Romans nine because if yeah. you were to take just this verse and just read it, you would be very confused about the meaning, and you would be uh, then getting into a really interesting stuff like predestination and all that sort of stuff, which we're not going to discuss here, but. It, it is also a, a doctrine that gets thrown around a lot when discussing Romans 9 and 18. And so I think that's something that we want to talk about and sort of discuss so you can have the full picture of what this verse is about and not get misled by uh, anybody. Uh, so I think that's all for Bible chat unless you have anything else to add. No. Okay, so uh, a few announcements. Uh, we're very excited to be back. Uh, we had a wonderful time at uh, the youth conference and at uh, youth camp after that. And so it's just been a wonderful wonderful time so I do appreciate everybody being so um, oh and we did also go to Grants, Missouri while we were there I forgot all about it uh, yep so it's been a wonderful time and we're very happy to be back making content it had a wonderful guys. impact on his life he forgot all and about it. Uh, we also are rescheduling our live stream for August and a very special event happened today that he forgot about uh, but it's sort of been rolling over my mind for the last month and today was marked the three-year anniversary of the day that we recorded our first sermon, which was the Witness of the Light. And that's sort of the thing that got this, you know, ball rolling and sort of where it is now. And so we're really thankful that that happened. And, uh, you know, we're just sort of looking back on that and remembering sort of the time frame and uh, where we were in our heads at that point. So it's just sort of a wonderful time and uh, sort of great to see how far we've come at this point. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. With all that said and done, my name is Jason, he is Monty. Monty.